Hey guys, Mr. V here. I've got a standard deck of 52 playing cards. There are 13 cards in each suit. Hearts, diamonds, clubs, and spades. And there's no jokers. Well, it might be one joker, but that's me. Anyway, I've shuffled this deck to make sure it's randomly arranged. And I'm going to play a very simple game. I'm going to cut this deck and I'm going to select a card. And if it's an ace, I win. But what's the probability of me not winning? Well, first, I'm going to calculate the probability of winning, and I'm going to use this formula. The probability of the event equals the number of favorable outcomes divided by the total number of outcomes. Okay, so in this case, the probability of selecting an ace equals the number of favorable outcomes. There are four aces in the deck, so it's four over the total number of outcomes, which is 52, the number of cards in the deck. Now I can simplify this to one over 13. So we know that selecting any card other than an ace means I don't win. So selecting an ace is the event, not selecting an ace is the complement of the event. Okay, so the event and its complement cover all the possible outcomes in this single step experiment. Either I select an ace or I don't select an ace. So this means that the probability of the event and the probability of its complement equal one, which we can see in this formula here. Rearranging this formula gives us a way of calculating the probability of the complement of the event. Therefore, the probability of the complement of the event equals one minus the probability of the event. So the probability of not selecting an ace equals one minus one over 13, which is the probability of the event, which gives us 12 over 13. Now those aren't great odds, but let's give it a go anyway, shall we? Oh, the suspense is killing me.